Science. In this video, let's find the uh, lowest common multiple and the greatest common factor of 7 and 8. And let's start with the greatest common factor first. So I'll create a factor tree for 7 and 8. It won't take long for 7 because 7 is prime, so the prime factors for 7 is 7. Now for 8, I'll complete a factor tree. 2 times 4 is 8. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And then 4 is 2 and 2. So the prime numbers for 8 are 2, 2, and 2. So now what I'm going to do is uh, draw a little factor chart for 7 and 8. And so I'll write a 7 here. I'll skip a space with the 8 because I don't have a 7. And there's a 2, a 2, a 2. Now for the greatest common factor, you bring down the numbers. But since you have two numbers, you have to have a vertical pair. So we don't have a vertical pair here, no vertical pair here, here, or here. Since you do not have a vertical pair, the greatest common factor is 1. Now for the lowest common multiple. What you do is you just bring down all the numbers. Now if you have a vertical pair, you only bring down 1. So we have a 7, you only bring down one of the numbers. So there's a 7, there's a 2, there's a 2, and there's a 2. Now, by chance, if I would have had a 7 here, I would have still just brought down 1, 7. Okay? Now all I do is multiply this together. So now we have 7 times 2 is 14, times 2 is 28, times 2 equals 56. So the lowest common multiple is 56, the greatest common factor is 1. And some people call that the least common multiple. So there we go. I hope that helps. And Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.